If our video helped you out, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit on the bell notification so that you can catch our latest guide or tutorial from us. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I will be showing you on how to copy trades from CTrader to MT5 and MT4. Hi. I created this video because I would like to show you how easy it is to install and configure Heron Copier. So yeah, let's just go ahead. So first of all, you'd have to download the Copier. If you subscribe to the service, you will get the download link on your email. But for the sake of demo, I would just download it right away from this link, herancopier.com slash download. Now, once you access that link, your browser will automatically download the copier. To save time, let's just assume that we have download, uh, we have downloaded the copier. It's in the form of zip file. What you can do is that you can just unzip the zip file right away. In this case, I unzip the entire folder to the desktop folder, right? Once you unzip the whole zip file, you will get all these files. What I would recommend you to do first is to read the setup instructions in this PDF file. It's called readme.pdf file. It basically consists of the setup steps and some explanations about the EA configurations. Right now on the setup steps, you will see the prerequisites. You'd have to download and install both versions of this VC++ registry table, which are the libraries needed for the copier to run. So please download both of the prerequisites and install both of them, right? Now, once you have installed both of the prerequisites, you can go ahead with the actual installation step. Now in this installation step, there are two steps that you can uh, choose, whether you would like to run the installer automatically or if you would like to install it manually. I would suggest to use the first method instead because it is a lot easier. Right now for this demo, I configured my setup this way. So I will have like one master account using CTrader, copying to one slave account using MT5 and another slave account using MT4, right? And as you can see right here in the EA settings, we still do not have the Heron copier installed at all, right? So now let's just go ahead with the automatic installer method. What you can do first is that you can just run the MSI installer package, which should be located right here in the unpacked zip file. So just click this file, uh, right click this file and then click install. Once it is installed, you should get an application. You should get a new application that you can access from the start menu. It's called Heron Copier Connector. Now let's just run this file and you will get a new applications running on your desktop and then please go ahead to the uh, installer tab which is the second tab on the left and then just click install once you get this confirmation pop-up window shown up it means that the ea should be installed on your terminals now let's just click ok and let's go ahead to verify if the ea is installed or not i'm going to click refresh on the ea list and as you can see right here, now you have the Heron Copier folder in the list. The same with the MT5 as well. Right, it's there. I think at this point the copier is installed already. Let's just run it. So for to run the copier, let's start with the master account first. As I said before, we plan to use the C Trader as a master account. So please just run this EA, Heron Copier Master. I'm going to use my license key in this case. And let's just go ahead and start the EA right away. Right. So uh, as long as this text is uh, shown up on your chart, the server is running, it means that the master EA has been configured properly. Let's do the same with the slave accounts, but instead of running the master EA, we will run the slave EA. I'm just going to drag it to the chart, like so. I will use the default settings because the symbol names are exactly the same. I'm going to click OK for now. Let's verify 
if the status is connected so now it's connected it means that the slave account in this case the mt5 slave account it is ready to receive the instructions to copy the trade from the master i'm going to do the same with the other slave account which is an mt4 slave account again just track the slave ea to the chart i'm going to use the default settings for now and let's see if it has the exact same connected status right so now we have both slave accounts connected let's just try to perform a test trade i'm going to open a new position and it's copied right the position is opened i'm going to just perform some more tests by attaching stop loss and the stop loss is there the same with the take profit and the take profit is also updated i'm going to detach one of them i'm going to detach the sl right seems to be working just fine right now i'm going to close this position right so it means at this point the copier is configured already for two slave accounts one using mt5 and the other one is using mt4 that's not all actually because the copier supports additional platforms trade locker main trader and the x trade for the rest of the platforms you can just simply run the slave copier app and then fill the credentials and then run the copier and that's it but the entire step as you can see is really simple right and that's not the only feature of the heron copier because if you would go to the connector window like so you will be able to see the list of your accounts now one thing that that you have to make sure is that you have to use unique identifier for each of the slave account so i'm going to rename my second slave account with something like this heron copier slave number two and let's see if it will show up here i'm just going to refresh or reload the page now again let's perform another test trade it's a cell position and as you can see both slave accounts copied the position properly and you will be able to see the status of the connections for each of the slave account as long as the balance equity and floating pnl i would say almost real time because they are updated for every five seconds right that's not only it you can also access this information straight from the dashboard so if you have like your mobile phone or other pc you can still monitor your accounts without having to log into your VPS, which could be handy. So the link is copied. What you can do is that you can open this link in another machine so that you can still monitor your trade without having to log into VPS, which is very convenient, I would say. Let's wait until the CTrader master account shown up. Oh, here it is. Right, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Let me know if you have any questions, all right? Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe for more contents like this.